Previously, we have installed performance brake pads on the MT-10. As that wasn't enough, we have also fully removed OEM brake lines and changed them out to steel braided lines. As that wasn't enough, we've also swapped out our OEM Axial Master to a Brembo Radial Master Cylinder. But why? Well, first we have to go back and figure out what caused this chain reaction of me purchasing these overpriced parts in the first place. Well, let's let this guy explain it. We do have to point out the lackluster brakes on the FC10. It's not on par with an R1, and it's not on par with the other hyper-naked competitors. So, the brake pads helped with the initial bite. Much better. The steel braided lines helped to create better feeling brakes. Much better. But what did the Bramble Master Cylinder do? Well, to find out, let's unbox this 19 RCS Corsa Corta. At first look, you are greeted with this beautiful box consisting of colors that represent the brightly colored red marinara sauce and the creamy white Alfredo sauce. Nice. To let the customers know that they are truly taking in the European experience. Below the master cylinder, you get some documentation with a screwdriver which is used for some adjustment and a double benja bolt. Now, I did say double. If your bike uses a single benja bolt up front, which it probably does, you will have to purchase a single benja bolt separately. But can't I just reuse my OEM benja bolt? No! For the people who will be throwing this master on their Japanese bike, the thread pitch for the banjo bolt will be different than your OEM coming in at M10 by 1. Meanwhile, the bolts on your Japanese bike are probably M10 by 1.25. Now, the master also comes with a brake switch, which will replace your OEM brake switch. This will most likely fit a variety of bikes, but in my case, since I own an MT10, my bike requires a normally closed switch, which is different from the Bramble normally open switch. So, in my case, I had to buy a this aftermarket piece which did require some cutting. Watch my install video to see how to wire everything up. Onto the master cylinder itself. The lever is fully adjustable with this dial which gives you a wide range of motion. The difference between the 19 RCS and the 19 RCS Corsa Corda is this thing up top. What it essentially does is it adds or removes free play from the lever. In the normal mode you get the largest amount of free play, meanwhile in race mode you get almost no free play. If you will be using the Brembo brake switch that comes with the master cylinder, I would highly not recommend using the race mode on the street as it does bring the lever really close to the plunger which makes your brake lights activate really late because there's almost no free play. Now if you guys are interested in getting great looking motorcycle first person footage, check out Ride Tech Moto, which offers a large assortment of custom helmet camera mounts that go exactly in the center of your helmet for a really clean looking setup. Every single month the website gets updated with new helmet mounts so it's very likely there's one for your helmet. All links below and worldwide shipping is available. You can also change the piston offset from 18 to 20 millimeters by using this dial under the dust cover. When this rubber piece is red, it's at 18 millimeters. And as you can see, the top of uh, this rubber piece is black. Now, if we take our Brembo screwdriver that we paid $500 for, we can go right here and we can change it to the red setting. This provides an easier pull on the lever, but also provides less feel in the brakes. Meanwhile, the 20mm provides a tougher lever pull, but really enhances the precision of how much braking power is being applied. I suggest you try out both settings and see which one you like more, as it's totally up to your personal preference. And now let's install the master cylinder on the bike. Now you will also need to store the brake fluid somehow. So a lot of people get this Bramble Reservoir Kit which works pretty well and is fairly easy to install. It will have all the hoses and brackets that you may need. Alright guys, but how does the master cylinder actually feel? Well, compared to the OEM master cylinder, you don't get any uncertainty anymore. Pretty much when you press down on the lever, there is no surprises. because. The power that you get from this master cylinder becomes way more linear than of what I had on my OEM master cylinder. For example, before I would get uh, a lot of power at the beginning and then I would lose some power halfway through and then would gain more power when I press even harder. With this one, you get the initial bite initially, obviously, from the brake pads and then 
everything else is completely smooth power on which just makes this master cylinder feel way more premium than the OEM. Now you also get uh, three different modes being the normal, sport and race mode. I just leave it in uh, sport mode uh, for just the middle setting. Um, just because I'm riding on the street, uh, race is a little bit more touchy, uh, sport is actually pretty good and uh, that's where I keep it and uh, I have no problems with it. The, the brakes are still, are still plenty sensitive for me and uh, now I also run on the 18 millimeter piston offset which provides uh, an easier lever pull but provides less feel but for the street I'm actually feeling like the 18 is a little bit more doable than the 20 the 20 is a little bit too stiff for me and uh, a little bit too linear meanwhile 18 you get an easier lever pull and it's just they're a little bit more touchy and more responsive when you're riding on the street just like I am doing now. So what is my opinion? This costs about 500 Canadian dollars which is actually not terribly overpriced and if you want your bike to be as good as possible it's more or less reasonable. I would definitely suggest getting the Corsa Corda over the regular 19 RCS as I really like the free play adjustment. I like my brakes to be more sensitive and putting this master on sport mode really does enhance the brake feel. The adjustment of the piston offset from 18 to 20 millimeters actually makes a difference. I prefer the 18 millimeter offset but I would think that on track 20 millimeters would be a little bit better as it does significantly increase the brake feel. The install is actually super simple compared to something like steel braided lines and overall this master definitely improved the performance of the brakes on the MT10 substantially so I would recommend it. Thank you so much for watching this video many other videos are coming out soon and we will see you in the next one.